Welcome to Lesson 9A, Server Controls in Web Forms. In the ASP.NET Web Forms framework, a server control is a special type of control that is processed on the server and participates in the same lifecycle as the web form. Its job is both to render HTML and JavaScript to the browser. Microsoft Visual Web Developer 2010 Express comes with dozens of server controls for performing common tasks such as displaying data, collecting data, submitting data, and validating data. The server controls are conveniently located in the toolbox and are divided into categories via, via separate tabs in the toolbox. There's a category for standard, controls, the data controls, validation controls, navigation controls, login controls, web parts, AJAX extensions, dynamic data, HTML, and then a general catch-all tab where you can put whatever custom controls or server controls that you want to put in there. Now the simple server controls include the label server control. The label server control renders a span element on the browser. The most basic server control is the literal server control. The literal server control literally just puts the text from the text attribute onto the HTML. Now while these server controls that I've just mentioned map one-to-one -one with existing HTML elements, there are many server controls that are much more complex. For example, the calendar server control when printed takes five pages of text to print all of the HTML that is rendered by that control. In this lesson, you create a simple web page that includes a number of server controls. You write code to handle the on-click event of the button server control and programmatically update a property of a server control. There are no lesson requirements and the hints for this lesson are double-click a button server control in design view to automatically add a click event and use the properties window to update the attributes of a server control. To get started with this lesson, select New Project, ASP.NET Web Application, and enter Lesson 9A for the name of the application. Finally, click the OK button. Select the About.ASPX page and replace the Put Content Here text with three controls from the toolbox. The first control is a text box control which you can just drag right on over. The next control is a button control and notice these are in alphabetical order on my toolbox. And then the next control we're looking for is the the label control. Now close the Solution Explorer and open the Properties window to update the properties. Oops! There we go. The ID for the text box needs to be text box name. Now for button, I can just select it off the drop down list up here. The button's ID is going to be button submit and the text for the button is submit name. Finally, the label is going to be named label hello and the text for the label is going to start off blank so we need to, to delete the default text. Click the F5 button now you can hit submit name nothing happens the page does a full post back but nothing actually happens Now go to Design View to add the on-click event for the button. If you select the button and go over to the Properties window, you see you can select events and you can enter the click event right there, or the easiest way is just to double-click the button and it will create the click handler for you. We're going to put one simple line of code here. This will set the text of the label to equal a string that just says hello. And we're using the string.format again.
click the F5 button to run the application. And now enter your name and hit submit. Close the browser. Just to quickly show you how to apply a style to the label, go back to the label. You can see the properties. Let's select the properties for, let's see, the CSS class. And you can either type the bold in, which is one of the default rules that are provided by the uh, cascading style sheet that's included as part of the sample application, or you can select it off the drop down list that was provided. Click the F5 button now, enter your name, and hit the submit name button, and then your name appears in bold.